you guys picking up seashell vibes in this look because I'm sending them out hey guys welcome back to my channel so don't mind the cash it's like just 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 see this from this up it's glam so today I did a seashell inspired makeup look ah! so guys the main reason behind filming this makeup look is that I wanted to kind of share this inspiring Instagram channel that I, or Instagram page that I found um, they're called Take 3 for the Sea and they just are so inspiring to me. They advocate for taking three pieces of rubbish away every time you go to the beach. Like They encourage people to just be educated and aware that you can actually make a huge difference by doing these little things that we see as like insignificant. So I just wanted to like let you guys know that I was super inspired by this Instagram channel and I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Basically guys, I just wanted to let you know that you can make a huge difference by things that you don't even feel are significant because if we all do our bit and all kind of help make this world even more beautiful than it is then we can make a huge difference so that's also why I created this look as well so I was super inspired by this shell guys I'll talk about it more when I start the video so without further ado let's jump straight into it I uh, hope you guys enjoy bye so today I felt super inspired to do like a seashell makeup look. So I've wanted to do this look for a while, like I said, just because I was walking along the beach at the start of this year and I was collecting all these little seashells on the beach and the colours just inspired me so much. I just felt so much just peace at that time and I just kind of want to bring that into the look as well. Just the colours that represent very tranquil, peaceful feelings. I've got one right here that is absolutely stunning. It's called the Poa Shell, I believe. It's from New Zealand. It's absolutely stunning and it's got the most incredible like duochrome colours in it. Like the reflection and holographic colours are just amazing. So I wanted to kind of recreate it. Um, it's actually such a beautiful shell. It comes with this little saying. It says, it is believed that the pore strengthens the body as well as the heart. The colours rep represent the beauty of life, which is, I find like that really connects with me. Like... I find I really resonate with like being out in nature and just the peace it gives you and I just find the beauty, most beautiful things I've seen is out just walking, just on the simplest things like walking along the beach, like going for a bush walk or something, just those things really just give me a lot of peace and I find those are the most like beautiful moments of life. So I'm going to do a look based on these colours that you find within this shell. So if you guys are interested then let's get on with the video. So I've already done one eye and I'm so happy with how it turned out. The purples and the reflectiveness, the glitter just kind of reminds me of like the sunlight reflecting off all those amazing colours. So I'm first of all going to take my NYX Jumper Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply this all over the lid space. So from the lash line being the most pigmented and just tapering up towards the crease, I'm also placing it on my inner corners as well. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffer brush and just basically buff that cream product um, to help it fade out and look more blended. This is just going to be really good to create a nice blank base to help the colours really stand out on top of that white. Next for my 350 Morphe palette I'm just going to take this soft brown and use it as a transition colour through the upper crease area. Next on a dome shaped brush I'm going to take Wisteria from Makeup Geek and place this just below but still through the crease. And as I get up further towards the brow bone I'm using lighter pressure and what, just whatever's on the brush I'm just blending it out. Next taking my flat shader brush from Zoeva I'm placing on some of Ice Queen from Makeup Geek which is just a sheen kind of white, it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. I'm placing this on the inner third of my lid and just extending up the inner part of my lid to kind of give the illusion that my eye is bigger. Next on that same flat shader brush I'm going to take Poolside and place that right next to Ice Queen and I want to kind of help them melt into one another. I don't want there to be any distinct lines in this look. It's all just melting in to one another. You don't know where one colour ends and begins. It just all becomes one. Then going back in with Ice Queen again and melting those two together. Let's go back and forth between those two colours to get the right kind of blend to them. 
Next on the petite crease brush, I'm going to mix Sapphire and Neptune. Neptune is from Makeup Geek and Sapphire, which is that gorgeous shimmery ocean blue, is from Morphe. I'm just going to place those on my outer corner, right next to poolside. And then I'm just dragging a bit of sapphire through the outer crease. I'm trying to keep it mostly matte though with Neptune, but I do want sapphire to just really deepen up the outer corner. I'm going back in with poolside and just kind of softening those together. I'm going back in with wisteria and bringing some purple back. It doesn't need to be too perfect guys because we're just placing over top black light which is a just stunning duochrome shade. So like I said I'm taking black light on that flat chisel shader brush and I'm placing that all over the blue side so all over these deep blues and having them as a base underneath is just going to really create different tones and shades and depth to the eye. We place this duochrome shade over top. Don't worry about fallout guys. We're just going to go back and forth between those shades. I might deepen up the outer corner a bit more. But do you see how like those deep blues are kind of giving those different tones to black light? Then I'm taking this incredibly beautiful single eyeshadow from NYX in the shade Mermaid. It's from their Prismatic shadow eyeshadow collection. And I'm placing this on my inner corners. Then I'm going to go in with Pegasus from Makeup Geek and place that kind of on the inner corner but more so towards the lid area. And then taking Ice Queen again, I'm going to place that on the very inner part of the lid to bring some of that white back, that iridescent-y white. And I'll just use like a little clean fluffy brush to kind of blend Pegasus and Mermaid together a bit more. The beauty of this look guys is that it's like mimicking a seashell so they don't have to be exactly perfect and symmetrical. So with this white shadow I'm just flicking it up a little bit. I've done it here as well, I've like flicked it up a bit to kind of just open up that inner part of the eye and, and recreate a bigger eye shape. It doesn't have to be perfect and it's just faint, it doesn't need to be anything too intense. I'm taking black light again and just smudging that along. For my brow bone highlight, I'm first of all going to take Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen and place that on the high point of the brow as like a beginning step. And then I'm going to go in with something more intense after. It's such a gorgeous colour, I can't wait to show you. Then I'm taking this gorgeous shadow from my Deuce Dubious Place palette and it's called Tart. It's a gorgeous iridescent -y shade. It looks white at first but it's actually got like a pink reflect to it. It's so stunning. It reminds me of the seashell so much. So I'm placing that on the very high point of the brow right under the hairs. And then just going back in with Wisteria lightly to soften the transition. So for the glitter part of the eye, I'm actually going to take a gorgeous holographic glitter from Sparkle Pig. I've been looking but I can't find the name of this one. They have so many glitters on their website though guys. You have your pick, like it's such an array. This one just reflects similar colours that are on my lid. It's got like greens, blues, a bit of goldish in there, a bit of, sil um, a bit of purple reflex. It's stunning. So I'm going to place that lightly over my lid. I don't want anything too dense or intense. <laughs> I want something light so just a little sprinkle of that glitter will do. I want the shadows to really peek through underneath quite clearly. And to kind of create a more sparse look I just wipe away any of the excess glitter with a fluffy brush. Next taking my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil and placing this in just my tight line. Then I'm just going to place on some mascara. You guys can use whatever mascara you like. I'm just placing this on my top lashes. So I didn't say it before guys, um, I quickly went in with some of Sugar Rush from Makeup Geek on my inner lid area, right over where that white ice queen was. I forgot to do this before the glitter, um, so when you guys do it, make sure you do it before the glitter. To intensify it and give it a bit of like an iridescent feel. 
For lashes today, guys, I'm going in with my Temptress Wispy ones from House of Lashes. And then I go back in and place some mascara right under the lashes on my naturals to help glue them to my falsies. Now for the bottom lash line, guys. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go in with this purple shade from my Sugar Peel palette. This is the shade Poison Plum. You can get it in their single shades now. I don't believe they sell this palette on their site anymore. I'm just going to wiggle this shadow really tightly against my lash line from outer to about inner corner, like two thirds of the way across. Then on my pencil brush, I'm taking Neptune and Sapphire again and going to smudge out that purple on the outer corner. Kind of dragging it down from the top to the bottom, kind of connecting it in that sense. And then on my more dome shaped brush, I'm taking Wisteria and buffing out the edges. Then on my Morphe Chisel Shader Brush, I'm taking Black Light and buffing that along the bottom lash line. Really focusing it on this part of the eye to help mesh it in. And then taking the brush with Wisteria on it, just buffing out any harsh lines that might be there. Then taking some of Sugar Rush again on my pencil brush. I'm just going to lightly place that in between Mermaid and Black Light. So I'm going to take my Ocean Green Eye Coal from, uh, what's this from, BYS, and place that on my bottom lash line. And then the fun part, which is the mascara. I'm going to take my Electric Blue Mascara from Rimmel. And that is the finished eyes. Oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. So this completes today's makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love how this eye look turned out. If you guys do like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can stay up to date with all my latest videos, tutorials, all that kind of jazz. This video is pre-filmed, guys, so I'm away in Greece at the moment. So if you guys do leave a comment, then I may take a little bit longer to reply than usual. Don't worry, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's just because I'm a little bit busy traveling at the May. But... Yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.